Those bricks can kill anybody at any time. But Jean Berg isn't going anywhere. In fact, is taking her defiance to new heights, somehow clambering on her rundown roof to record the activities of her neighbours. And while she's resorted to photographs, Terry Barker has gone one step further and erected surveillance cameras. The cameras are just for security, not only for my security, for her security, because living in a wreck of a house uh, can attract the wrong people. I've chased children out of the yard, reported to the police. Uh, police say it's not a police matter, council say it's not a count, uh, safety matter. And I think it is a safety matter because a brick from five feet up can kill. Neighbourhood disputes are not our problem, uh, but certainly we will be uh, looking again closely and where council responsibilities are uh, obvious, we will deal with them. Deputy Mayor of the Burnett Shire Council just out of Bundaberg in Queensland, Morris Chapman has clearly rubbed his hands of the standoff and his government's role in it. I suspect that a demolition order at some stage has been issued, but I'm not entirely sure of those facts. It's just left to rot because uh, it's a political hot potato. An old lady kicked out of the house doesn't look good politically. But Jean Berg isn't just any old lady. She's infamous. Three years ago at 79, she became Australia's oldest inmate, sent to prison for defrauding Centrelink of $100,000. This was what her home looked like just after she was released. Now it's derelict and dangerous. I don't live here because you cannot live here because of the stench and you cannot live here for the mosquitoes and the cane toads and it's an environmental disaster. Terry Barker wants to build his dream home here but says he won't while Jean Bergs is still standing. Wrecking the street, no one can sell a house for its right price in this street. Would you like to come and have a talk to us? Uh, I think you've got everything to watch.